is Lila Trexler and I'm trying out for the 2015-16 Lincoln County Fair and Rodeo Princess. Writing this speech was really hard, so I called some friends to see what they wrote their speech about. But they all wrote their speeches about their family history. You see, my parents are divorced and my mom isn't from here, so I felt like I had no personal history. Well, except for the fact I lived here my entire life. But I'm only 11, and that's not considered history. I thought of I thought of a song by Miranda Lambert titled Roots and Weeks. I thank the Lord above on my Sunday drive for Daddy's hands and Mama's dreams. He gave me roots. She gave me wings. It reminded me that even though my mom and dad aren't married anymore, they've both given me priceless gifts. My dad has given me roots, and and me on those roots are right here in Lincoln County. I was excited to call my great aunts, uncles, cousins, grandparents, and other family members to learn more. You see, I know that trees stand tall only because of the roots that anchor them in, down into the ground. You can't always see them, but the roots are there, holding you firmly where you need to be. My family tree has roots in Lincoln County, and here's where the story begins. My great-grandpa Gilbert worked at a Ford dealership while finishing high school in Kansas. The owners of the dealership also owned farmland 20 miles north of Araba, Colorado. They asked my grandpa Gilbert to be the caretaker of that farm. A couple years later, my great-grandma Reba's family also moved from Kansas to a farm near where my great-grandpa Gilbert was working. My great-grandpa Gilbert and great-grandma Reba fell in love and waited until my great-grandma Reba graduated from Araba High School and married in 1949. They had four girls. The oldest is Brenda, then Jan, Phyllis, and Dolores. Great-grandpa Gilbert and great-grandma Reba raised their kids on the farm that my great-grandpa Gilbert um, worked at. Eventually, they owned it, and they added on to it over the years. Brenda was the first to have children. Alan, my dad, and my and Lindsay, my aunt. Alan and Lindsay lived in Araba, participating in Lincoln County 4-H Fair and Rodeo. My aunt Lindsay was the Lincoln County princess, and also the queen's attendant. Their 4-H projects included the horse project, rabbits, heifers. I had so much fun calling and talking to the family. I told you about the song that inspired my speech, Roots and Wings. My roots come from my dad, and his family has roots in Lincoln County. But they also come from my faith in God, and my faith keeps me in the right path of life. My faith helps me believe in myself. Now let me tell you about my wings. When I say I've got wings, I mean I'm growing up. My wings also come from faith. However, this kind of faith is faith in myself. Faith to believe I, that I can be anything I want to be and do anything I want to. Even though my mom moved around a lot as a child, she has helped keep me grounded in my roots here. My faith in God and my family, no matter where they live. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for teaching me how, how important having both roots and wings are. Thank you for keeping me grounded in my faith and in my family, while also teaching me that I can fly as high as my dreams can, will take me. Even though it was hard writing this speech, I am grateful for this opportunity to learn more about where I live, where I come from, and where I'm going. Remember, with a little faith in God and family, we all have roots. And with a little faith in yourself, we all have wings. My mom has told me to bloom where you're planted. My roots have me blooming right here in Lincoln County, right here with all of you. There's no place I'd rather be. Thank you.